Neo has just released official specifications and images of the new ET7 electric sedan with a 1000 kilometer range. And I've got to say, it is one of the best looking electric cars I have ever seen. Hello my friends, my name is Sam Evans and you are watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to the channel. Fantastic to see so many new subscribers coming on board recently. Within the last few weeks, numbers have really started to surge. Welcome to the channel to everyone else as well. Now remember, we've only been around for about seven months, but we've made over 580 videos now. Make sure you check out some of those videos. I'll put a link in the description below to all the videos we've made about NEO over the last few months. So Car News China reports on the Guangzhou Auto Show that happened today. And the Neo ET7 is finally for real. There's been lots of teaser images and different videos, photos, but this is the production version. What you see here is what you'll be able to buy soon. And not just in China, by the way, because Neo plans going after a number of different markets worldwide. Now they already sell their vehicles in Norway and in some other European countries right now. The production version of the ET7 was unveiled at the 2021 Guangzhou Auto Show in China. Today, and Neo also announced pricing and colors, and like so many times in the recent past, specifications of the vehicle were updated again. So if you've already seen the specs of this vehicle, they've actually changed since our last released. This is actually the fourth Neo production car after the Neo ES8, the Neo ES6, and the Neo EC6. The Neo EP9 supercar never went into production and only a few not street legal cars were hand built for early investors in the company. Neo though still doesn't have its own factory and they do receive a bit of criticism for this and uh, that's fair, fair enough. Like other Neos, the Neo E7 is contract manufactured by Wanghai Automobile or JAC. Neo's current contract with JAC runs until 2024. So Neo does plan though to build its own factory, but I haven't heard much about that, whether or not it's happening anymore. So maybe they plan to stay with JAC for the immediate future. Now I don't know about you, but I love the design of the rear of this vehicle. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Aston Martin DB9. I love the kind of the spoiler, the, the lights. Whoever designed this car should get a raise. They've done a brilliant job. Now, one thing that really strikes me about this car is it has an extremely clean and uncluttered design. Details like the integrated rear spoiler and the light bar at the back look really impressive to me. So what I wanna know is, what do you think about the design? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, apparently, as is extremely important for range, the ET7 has insanely good CD or drag coefficient. In fact, it's so good that I'm not sure if it's um, true. Now the drag coefficient is 0 0.208, which is, well, it makes it one of the most slippery cars you can buy. The powertrain consists of two electric motors. The motor at the front has 180 kilowatt and the motor at the rear has 300 kilowatt. This gives it a combined power output of 480 kilowatt and well, that's 652 horsepower for you Americans, and it has 850 newt meters of torque. This is one very powerful car. In fact, it's got similar power figures to a Porsche Taycan Turbo. What about batteries and range? Well, this is where this car really shines. There's three different battery options for the ET7. It comes in standard form with a 75 kilowatt hour battery for 500 kilometers of NEDC range probably about 450 in the real world. It comes in a long life version, which has a 100 kilowatt hour battery with seven kilometers of NEDC range, probably around about maybe 620 in the real world. And it comes with an ultra long life version. This is the third version, the most expensive model, which has a 150 kilowatt hour battery, which gives the vehicle 1000 kilometers of NEDC range. So if you want a car that will give you a big range, this is it. It's incredible. Now there are other cars though, 
in China currently about to go on sale or already on sale right now, which have around about the similar range as this, between 700 and 1,008 kilometers of range. I'll put some links in the description below to those other cars. Now, obviously, in my view, range anxiety is a thing of the past, especially in China where there's electric charges just all over the place. And of course, if you have a Neo, you can actually swap the battery. They have 625 battery swapping stations all over China. You drive in and three minutes later, your, battery, your car has a brand new fully charged battery. It's insane. But I mean, realistically, if you bought the version with a thousand kilometers of range, I really don't think that would be necessary. Now, some of the features of this vehicle include a 10.2 inch digital instrument panel and a 13 inch touchscreen with a digital assistant. It also has a heads up display, which I think is a good thing. I've got one in my car and it's something I think Tesla should adopt for their vehicles, vehicles as well. It has a 4K driving recorder. So all your drive, car can record footage and it has 5G wireless network with Wi-Fi 6.0, Bluetooth 5.2 and a 23 speaker sound system. Now, if you don't already know, Neo is has positioned themselves as a premium automaker. And in fact, in China, they are considered by the Chinese to be even more premium than say Mercedes, BMW or an Audi vehicle. Now the ET7 will get a pretty impressive semi-autonomous driving package with various sensors and cameras clearly visible above the front and the rear windows and on the front fenders. The sensor system is called Aquila Super Sensing and Neo claims it features 33 sensing units, including the following. One ultra long distance high precision LiDAR, 11 8 million pixel high definition cameras, enhance the driver's perception one, I don't know what that is, millimeter wave radar five, 12 ultrasonic sensors, V2X vehicle road cooperative sensing, and two sets of high precision positioning units. Not sure what those are either. If any of you geniuses that I know watch this channel are watching right now, let me know in the description below what two sets of high precision positioning units are. I don't know. So what else does it come with? Well, actually, the perception of Chinese cars in the West is that they're unsafe, but it's actually further, can't, couldn't be further from logic because a vehicle like this is probably safer than every car that you can buy in America right now, except maybe a Tesla Model S or a Model 3 potentially. Comes with forward collision warning, FCW, automatic emergency braking, AEB, vehicle blind spot monitoring, lane change warning, side open door warning, rear car warning with brake, front side vehicle warning with brake, road keeping assist, driver emergency assist, emergency lane keeping, enhanced driver sensing system, intelligent adaptive cruise, automatic far and near beam control, road sign recognition, dynamic environment simulation and display, vision fusion, automatic parking system, automatic parking for power stations, narrow road assist. Well, that tired me out just telling you all those safety features, but I wanna make the point here, and I've made this in previous videos. Chinese cars, the technology in them, is far superior to the technology in cars that are being made in Europe, in America, and in Japan. Sorry, it's just a fact. I didn't know this a year ago, but in all the research I've done over this year, I've discovered that that's the current world we now live in. Now, what is the price? This is probably the most important part for many people. But sometimes if you have to ask, it means you can't afford. However, in this case, I don't think that's the case. Price of the base model with standard battery is 448,000 yen, which is 70,000 US dollars. The fully loaded first edition version with the largest battery costs 82,000 US dollars or 526,000 yen. So you can get a vehicle in China with 1,000 kilometers of range with a 150 kilowatt hour battery, which is super, super luxurious for 82,000 US dollars. Now there actually is another electric car on sale right now in China, which has 1,008 kilometers of range, but it only costs, well, under 50,000 US dollars. Now pricing the other variants is apparently gonna be reported soon. I don't know what the price is of the middle range model. I'm gonna guess around about 75,000 US dollars. Now, the only sort of downside I see to this car is I think the screens are a little bit small in comparison to the competition. You can buy, you know, $20,000, $30,000 electric cars in, in China, which have literally 20 inch screens in them. It's crazy. Even cheaper, even $10,000 EVs sometimes have screens that are up to 20 inches in size. The technology in some of these cars for the price is just stunning. That's probably the only downside. Other than that, 
I'm a big fan. I would love for Neo to let me test drive one here in Melbourne, Australia. Neo, this is a shout out. If you're watching the channel, I'm putting my hand up. Let me drive it. Then all the viewers of the channel can have a good look. Thanks for watching the channel. What do you think about this car? What do you think about the ET7? Would you own one? Do you think it's well-priced? What do you think about Neo? Let me know in the comments section below. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.